All right, we are back. Now, I was gonna chat about it in the other video, but it it's not really, kind of deserves its own module. Now, what loop pedal do I get? Common question. You're like, do I get, uh, like there's gonna be a boatload of loops that you can get, like, and every brand seems to have figured out, hey, I wanna, I, here's my loop version or here's my loop pedal. This is the best loop pedal you're ever gonna get. Literally, if you're starting, get whatever you want. Like, whatever your budget fits. If you can buy a Sheeran Looper, that's the number one thing you buy. Like, it goes from there, Sheeran Looper. I have never used a Head Rush Looper, but um, just to TLDR, if you can afford it, get the Sheeran one. My opinion, best one, because it's made by one of the best loopers in the world and designed by the best loopers. So it's like, that is the no-brainer. Now... We're going to go into the types of looping. So say, for instance, you see here, this is like a Ferrari. This is very, very cool. Um, and some people can't take this car, like, like some people can't take a Ferrari to the track. They just chill. Um, that's totally fine. It can collect dust and look pretty. Uh, but understand that this thing is a Ferrari and its capabilities are absolutely insane. Um, the way I use it is huge. You do not need to be like that. Uh, when we're looking into types of loopers, this is the Ferrari, right? This one and also the Head Rush loop board um, that Carl Walkner uses. Um, I would say I like the Ferraris of loop pedals. Now, that is the super crazy one. This is what we call a multi-track looper. So you can see here, I've got one, two, three, four tracks. That means I can layer uh, one layer on track one, I can layer one on track two, one on track three, one on track four. Then once I have those layers done, I can now be creative and be like, I can swap to my looping mode and I can be like, all right, I wanna play just track one, which is just my guitar track. Now I'm gonna add my bass. Now I'm gonna add my drums. And now I'm gonna take out my bass. I'm gonna take out my guitar, put my bass back in. You can be clever. That's how I arrange my music. Uh, but some loop pedals, I'm not gonna give you that. So this is the highest level, in my opinion, when it comes to uh, multi-track looping. Now, this, the, the second pretty decent one, very cheap alternative, is this bad boy here. The loop pedal RC300. I tried to clean it up, but the dust in it is so horrible. I did not treat this thing well. Um, Actually, I bought this one secondhand, so it hasn't been treated well at all. <laughs> this thing got, this one has been used and abused, but it still works. Um, this thing is very old, um, not very, very old, but like it is an old piece of equipment. Uh, it has been updated to RC600 and all that stuff, but RC300, you see, it has three tracks, track one, track two, track three. Now, the difference between this one and the, and the, the heel, uh, the, sorry, the, Sheeran Looper X that I have there is that this thing doesn't allow me to route my outputs. So basically everything that happens in here, that's the only thing you can hear. It's just like, it's so frustrating for someone who's at a higher level, who's trying to be more clever with the sound and, and mix it better. But this thing will absolutely get you where you need to go. I still use this live. I will never take my Sheeran Looper X out at a live gig. Um, so I take this one to all my pub gigs. So every gig I play on the weekend, this is the pedal I'm using. Super easy, super simple, nothing crazy. You record here, you stop here, you hold down stop, it deletes it. That one turns everything on and off. So you can start layer, layer, turn everything off, bring it back in. It's great. I can set up the different parameters here. Fantastic. For pub gigs, people just want me to play Brown Eyed Girl or Sweet Caroline. Honestly, they don't really care if I loop but I just do it because it's fun for me and I get to play heaps of guitar solos. So multi-track loopers, this is what these things are. They um, have multiple tracks that you can layer onto and then you can alternate the arrangements. So that's what these things do. They allow you to track multiple different sets that you want for your song. So I can split up my guitars, I can have my drums, I can have backing vocals, whatever, and I can do all that kind of stuff. And that's what the multi-track loopers are. So. If you, the reason I want to start with these ones first is truly my belief is these are the ones you start with. The other ones, 
are immediately limiting you. Your creativity is going to be so limited unless you have a multi-track looper. Now, the only reason you would not get one of these things or the Sheeran Looper X or things like that is you can't afford it. Now, if you can't afford it uh, and you don't mind stretching your budget, these things are, I think this one, like, I don't know what a brand new, I don't even know if they sell brand new RC300s, but secondhand RC300, like 400 bucks Australian. So I don't know what that is um, in, in wherever you guys live. But uh, you can get the Boss RC600, also very good. I don't know how much. I'm assuming they're around like $800. Boss is genuine, like, like they tend to be a lot cheaper. Um, obviously, the Looper X, this one was like 2,500 Australian. So that's a huge jump. Like, but it is, when I say it's 2,500, that is so cheap for what this thing does. Oh my God, it is so cheap. Um, because when you, like, this is the other thing that I'm going to get into. When you go and buy your loop pedals, you're going to be like, how do I get a sound like Luan? He's got like this bass sound, this octave and like compression and blah, blah, blah. All these different multi-effects pedals that you're going to have to add on to your pedal they are going to um, rack up the price, right? So when I used to gig, like, or even when I used to do my stream, I used to have this RC300, and then we'll just grab this camera over here, and you can see right over there, that is my Line 6 Helix. So I had to run effects from my Helix into my RC300, and then that is how I was able to get the sound that I was getting out of my RC300. Now, other loop artists and stuff will do the same thing. They will have multiple um, effects racks that they build or analog effects that they will send into the RC300, and that's how they build all of their amazing sounds. Um, it's not the RC300 that does it. Now, the Sheeran, so, when, so say, for instance, we're going back to my setup. When I use the Helix and I use the RC300, the Helix costs like two and a bit grand, um, and then this thing costs like 500 bucks when I got it new or whatever, five or 600 when I got it new. Um, so that's like over three grand to achieve what the Sheeran X already does. So this Looper X already does all that inbuilt. I can do all my multi effects in the, in the pedal. So um, this thing's dope. This, uh, RC, uh, the Looper X, man, it's just so cool. Like the best thing. Now that's, that's where we're going to get to with like, if you can get a loop pedal, get a multi-track loop pedal. Um, I can't stress enough how overpowered it is. It is just like the... You will get something like this because you'll be like, I'm going to save money and I'm only just starting looping, so I want to do it. Now, the only reason you would get one of these is if uh, you're playing a really like chill gig... Honestly, you wouldn't even do it. You only get one of these if you're insecure about getting into looping. If you don't want to put in the time and you don't want to get good at looping, you buy one of these. Um, the only person that I've ever seen with an RC30, I've only ever seen one person, one, one. Never, never have I ever seen one, more than one person use this thing better than someone using like a beginner using a multi-track one and already like a multi-track uh loop pedal like it like that person immediately moved over to it the only person i've ever seen using rc30 like a boss like actual just slay so hard ed sheeran this is the pedal that ed sheeran used uh throughout the beginning of his journey till he could eventually get a bigger loop pedal and get his own custom one built to fit his needs correctly because that thing obviously does not do it. It sucks. Um, it's great, but it sucks. Uh, I'm just going to be flat out with you guys. Thing sucks. Um, so multi-track looping, if you're going to go buy a looper, get a multi-track one. Uh, it is going to make your life infinitely more easy. Um, you're going to be able to jump into looping way more creatively. You're not going to be stressing and be like, oh, man, I can't get this right. Or once you start getting into a flow and you're like, oh, my God, things are working, then you got to go back and then you're like, oh, my God, I just spent like, you know, three or $400 and, you, and you'll make the justification just like I did. I'll get this one because it's like compact and I can take it and it's a small little one. Now, that was a, the dumbest mistake I ever made because all it did was limit me. It just limited me in my creativity and limited my 
my ability as a looper straight away. Just because of the the technical function of that, it immediately level, limited my ceiling on how I could push my skill set. So that's why I really discourage anything outside of a multi-track looper. Now, that's the end of the multi-tracking looper drama. Now, let's go on to uh, the pieces of shit. I'm kidding. They're not. They're, they're still good. Like, this thing, it's it's gone to some places. It's been pretty handy. It's battery-powered. Um, this is the RC30. So, before anyone gets mad in the chat, I know this is a multi-track looper. It is a multi-track looper. It has two tracks. In order for you to swap between the tracks, you have to hold down one of the sides, and then it swaps. Um, and then you can set up your tracks, and then you hold down, and you swap. And you can do all the clever things like that. There is a video that I can link in the description and you can watch Ed Sheeran play You Need Me, I Don't Need You. I think it's called the BBC Radio Session back like 10 years ago or whatever. And he uses this like a... I have never in my life seen anyone use a pedal that good. I was just like, you want to know why Ed Sheeran's goat? Because he used this and this is the thing he took on tour I believe he took this thing on tour with Taylor Swift. Um, this is the thing he played in every bar, in every gig that he did. It was in his rucksack. Um, this was his go-to. So um, you can be humble and start where Ed Sheeran started, or you can be smart and go where Ed Sheeran is now. Because where Ed Sheeran is now, he's got the right stuff. Um, but these things are handy, but all that's going to happen is they add a lot of friction in your creativity. So you have to think more than uh and build up the like i wouldn't say think more but like if you do spend heaps and heaps of time you can master it but i would say um why don't you just save yourself uh 400 500 gigs of learning and just get a multi-track so all that happens on this one is you're going to record on one track um typically when i use this thing i just recorded everything on one track because i was just like this thing's annoying I don't want to be swapping. I want to focus on the crowd. I want to focus on making sure I'm getting the song right and my performance is good. Um, so maybe it's a limit in my skill set that made me not like these things. But they were a great starting point for um, any looper, uh, anyone getting into looping. This thing will absolutely do what you need it to do. It will record what you need to record and it'll be fantastic. Now, the other thing... Uh, when it comes to like the limitation, cause like some people will get like, you can get the version of this one. I can't be like, I think it's like RC. Honestly, I just don't even know the name. It's like RC one or something. It It is literally not two of them. It's just one. It's, and that one records, overdub stops. I have never used one. Um, uh, it just seems like tedious as hell for me. But one thing that I have used, which I don't have with me cause a friend of mine's borrowing it. Um, and it's something that you will see on other effects pedals, but you see over here with this RC3, uh, this Line 6 Helix. So we've got our, our single track loopers. What these, these Helixes and what other multi-effects units can do is I can set up to have this button record, this button stop, record, stop. And so I can do my looping I can do all my looping with my multi effects. Like I could effectively do everything with this and I've watched my friends do it. It just sounds like shit. Um, and I, I don't mean to be like crude or whatever, but I like, I just, this is who I am. Like it is garbage. Like looping with that thing is garbage. And do you know why I know it? Cause I did it. I had a boss GT 10. You can Google it. It is one of the coolest pedals I've ever had. There is a YouTube video of me of how I would do it. Now, when I say I used it, all the only purpose that those things are fantastic for are for guitarists and or like if you're an instrumentalist and you're using that pedal. What those things are going to allow you to do is set up a quick loop of like chords. So you can quit like as you're singing, you'll set up chords and then you can improvise over it. That's it. Anytime you're going to stack layers and be clever and all that stuff, it immediately starts to get really dicey. Um, especially like my boss GT10 has like a, had a 37 second 
time limit or some shit, something dumb like that. And you'd be recording this loop and you'd be like, oh my God, I'm, I'm so on fire. And then right as you're about to finish the recording of the loop, it just automatically restarts because you hit that, that timer. So the thing that these boss pedals and the Sheeran loopers have is an unlimited time. You can loop for as long as you want. You can make a one minute loop and then stack over a minute if you want. Mind you, people will fall asleep if you try to do that. And you might even fall asleep unless uh, you have certain substances that keep you occupied. Um, but that is pretty much the gist of looping, uh, what pedals you can use. So order of priority, you want to go multi-track looping. Worst case scenario, you want to step to like dual track looping. So it's like, it's like fake multi-track looping. It's kind of like... It can multi-track, but there's a lot of like, you're tap dancing a lot. Um, and then you have single track looping, which will be like, you can only loop onto one track. And so every single layer layers onto that. Now that is completely fine if you're just improvising on guitar. Um, and so like, that's a really, really easy step to take. So if you're a person who's like, I just want to play guitar solos and just lay down some chords and have a good time. Um, then you're pretty much going to get to the first video on the loop course and you're done. You can check out and just go and do the improvisation course and have heaps of fun. Uh, but if you go to the improvisation course and you're like, oh my God, these jams are so vibing. I wish I could create them for myself. Then you're going to want a multi-track looper uh, like the Sheeran X or the RC300. Um, that is all I can really say on the topic. But a um, bit of a rant. Uh, but those are the types of loop pedals that exist. And that's pretty much how you're going to be jumping in and doing your looping. So uh, we are going to pretty much jump in and start uh, getting, once you guys have your looper, I don't really care what you get. Um, the first, the the foundations of building loops, uh, you can use with any looper. So I don't care what looper you have, just jump in um, as long as it can record and delete. That's the only thing I care about. Record, overdub, delete, uh, we, and stop, obviously. We would like it to be able to stop when we want it to stop. <laughs> I was just remembering my GT10. Oh, man, that thing was like, oh, I remember being a kid and I was like, oh, my God, I got this battle. It's so cool. Oh, my God, I can play like Eruption on it. This is the coolest thing. And um, when I discovered this loop function, oh, man, the amount of like, the amount of guitar solos I played using that loop thing, oh, it was great. So, it definitely gave me a lot of good memories. So don't don't let my complete like bias towards uh, multi-track looping, you know, stop you from just giving it a go. If you have a friend who has a Helix or you have a friend who has a GT10 or has like the Boss, you know, RC1 or whatever it's called, um, or an RC30, like get it. Just grab it, start using it. Um, if you can get it for free, do it. If you can't um, and like you're really under a strict budget, these things, I don't know. They're like a hundred and something bucks uh, secondhand. I don't know how much they are brand new, but that there's a lot of lot of really good options for for these cheaper pedals. But if you're really going to get into it, seriously, get a job at McDonald's or find somewhere you can work <laughs> for like a month or two um, and make quick as much money as you can really really fast sell lemonade i don't know what you need to do buy pokemon like flip pokemon cards now that'd be pretty hard to do um i don't know how people do that but do whatever you can to get a multi-track looper it will immediately change your approach and they are so much easier to to manage and they're so much easier to be creative on uh rather than these single track loopers but let's get in and let's do some looping uh can't wait to see how you guys go Woo. 